Hello and welcome to Patio Plays Toonstruck. In the last episode, we did a bunch of stuff. We walked around the castle and found a lot of different rooms. But the most awesome and most disturbing thing was the clown door. We opened it by solving a tedious puzzle in the episode before the last episode. But last episode we entered that door because I was kind of scared, I hate clowns and I didn't want to go in there, so I postponed it to last episode and then I finally had to go in there. And there was this really creepy clown in there, but to my surprise, I think he's the best character in the whole game. He was awesome and f um, randomly funny. You should go check that last episode out, it was really cool. And now... We're at, in this uh, weird checker room thing where there's a bookshelf and in the first room with a cell we had a bird that told us some clues about the books. Because it's some Something kind of puzzle. Weird about some of those books. Maybe it's worth a closer look. Okay. So I'm from what I got from the bird, he tweeted that at me. We have to pull out books in the right order. Um... Yeah. I actually... Off screen I went back and... Um, wrote down what the bird says. Not what the fox says. And he gave those clues. Every book should be pulled out once. And only once. Don't start by pulling out red book one. Blue books should be pulled out in numerical order. Blue book 2 should be pulled out after two red books have been pulled. Red book 3 should be pulled out immediately after red book 1. Half of the blue book pulls are immediately followed by a red book pull. Neither Red Book 3 nor Red Book 4 is the last book to be pulled. Or Red Book? I don't, I don't know. The last blue book should be pulled immediately after all the red books have been pulled. Okay, so what I'm getting from this is... The last book has to be a blue one, because... The last blue book should be pulled at, right after the last red, all, all bla uh, black, all red books have been pulled. And I think the first book has to be blue too, because it says half of the blue books, wait, I wrote it out, um, they should be pulled in numerical order, the blue books, and, um, Half of the blue books, book pulls are immediately followed by a red book pull. That means two of them are immediately followed by a red one, and two of them, like, there's two books in a row, but that can only be if the first one is a blue book. Did that make sense? I don't know if they if I'm thinking correctly, but I'm just gonna do blue book one first. So Um Yeah, how do we continue? We don't start pulling re out red book one. We only pull books once. Uh, okay, so we have a clue that makes it clear what we have to do. We have two clues, actually. Blue books... no, wait, wrong line. Blue book two, and remember we have to pull blue books in a numerical order. Blue book two should be pulled out after two red books have been pulled. Okay, so far so good. And then we have... Red Book 3 should be pulled out immediately after Red Book 1. So I'm assuming, 
I don't know logically, but I'm assuming that that's the two red books that we have to do before Blue Book 2. So we have to do red one and red three. All right. So far, so good. So if we don't want everything to be followed by a red book, we should probably now pull two blue books. Blue, blue, in order. And what now? We figured out that the last one has to be blue. So now what order do we put the Neither Red Book 3 nor Red Book 4 is the last book to be pulled. Okay, maybe I wrote it down wrong, and it's the last Red Book to be pulled. In that case, we would have to do Red Book 4. And Red Book 2. And then read Blue Book 4. Yeah! I did it! I guess hitting the books can pay off! So it worked! Oh, cool. Okay. Writing down stuff sometimes works. Oh boy. Oh, great. A guard. I better be careful while I'm down here. Maybe we should not talk to him. Oh. He looks sleepy. Uh, can we make him sleep? He may be groggy, but I have a feeling he'd still get me before I got him. Can we hit him with a hammer? He may be groggy. But I have a feeling he'd still get me before I got him. Okay. Hmm. Maybe this? Say goodnight, fish breath. Can't hold him open anymore. Oh yeah, snoozing gator guard. Can we now hit him with a hammer? He's already in dreamland. Okay. Hmm. Nothing really to do here. Let's look at the monitor. I'm sure sleepy won't mind if I turn this around. Let's see what's on. The Malevolator! If I can steal it, maybe I can save Flux! Huh. What else is there? Oh, Flux hell no. And the Cutie File. Repeat, I have tracked down Flux and the Cutie File. Oh no. The fool has flown into the canyons that lie beyond the Twisted Forest and is now completely lost. <laughs> it's only a matter of time. <laughs> <laughs> the next time I radio in, Flux Wildly and his meddling machine will be history. <laughs> okay, that's not good. Our good friend Flux is gonna be. I don't know what he's gonna be. Malavolated? Okay. That guard didn't do a good job. He should have noticed that we're gone. That's a cool pose. <laughs> I didn't notice that before. It's a disco gog night. Night fever, night fever. <laughs> and some white noise. So the only useful thing here is this. Is that some kind of 
floorboard I can... that's used as a switch? Is there anything I can use? No? Let's see what's on. No? Huh. Water. Bolted platform. Ooh. Ooh. Wait, aren't we right under that room? What? If we use the magnet to move that thing. Ah! Sounds like this is my night. On here. I'm just guessing we have to use those. Where did it come up? Here? Okay, now let's move him he down here. Ha! Huh. Nice. Alright. Let's go back up. Do we need anything from you? Nope. Okay, let's go up here. Oh shit. Oh, great. It's the fires of three stages. Good thing they're blasting loud music. Can we take the crate? The lid is nailed down. I can't just rip it open with my bare hands. Okay. We have a key. Maybe that works. Nope. Um. Uh, guys, aren't we supposed to be guarding these supplies? TNT. We are guarding the supplies. I thought we were playing cards. We are playing cards. But never mind. Okay. We just go. Somehow, just marching over there and taking it seems inadvisable. Hmm. Hopping crate. What can we do with that? Um. I really don't know how to open that, to be honest. Um. Huh. The lid is nailed down. I can't just rip it open with my bare hands. Nailed down. Um. No, I don't know. Well, let's go back down here. Maybe we get something to open it later. What's up here? Oh, great. I guess I won't be going up there. Okay. Nothing. Um. There was the kitchen. Huh. Let's go in here again. Can we do something here? Um, maybe we can. It's not stopped up. It's not clogged. Okay. Um, oh. Why maybe not? This? Okay. Cool.
Mm. What can we do with the doormat, though? Hmm. All right. And Time I think I have one more idea. <laughs> Flyman. I have one more idea. In here. <laughs> Let's take the chloroform and wait until he puts his nose. Because we were able to take his nose before. Maybe we can make him sleep by putting that stuff on his nose. Come on. Come on. There we go. It's a merciful thing to do. Sleep tight, you pathetic pinwheeling freak. Mr. Nose! Nosey! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you're so cute. I have a bad feeling about this. He's breathing really fast. <laughs> Holy shit! We're tuning up! That was close. What just happened to me? Well, as long as it wasn't me turning into a tune, it was me turning into a tune. Help! I'm a tune! I'm a tune! I'm a tune! I'm a tune! I'm, a tune. I'm not a tune. Hmm. Let's get that balloon. Can we fill it with with uh, mm -hmm. stuff? Balloon? Balloon! Oh, can we take a sip? Hey! Check out my voice! <laughs> That's cool. Let's take that needle. Can we... Put that stuff in here. Hey. <laughs> All right. Okay, so earlier I had a suspicion what to do with a needle. Let's check out if that's true. Let's see. That needle I'm should sure fit right in. What do we want to do? Let's make it hot. <sighs> what a heater! Somebody cooking hot dogs or are my intestines starting to sizzle? <laughs> oh, poor fish. All right. So now we have something to do. But we'll save that for the next episode. Well, as always, thank you for watching. And tune in next time on Patio Plays Toonstruck. Thank you and bye-bye.